Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. MocaLover, and yes, I am currently invading the United States, and we have taken out a very small portion of Texas and have li helped liberate part of the Confederated States of America. <clears throat> but let's continue on playing this campaign. And today, it might be the last episode, or it might be uh, just another episode in the series. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's a finale, maybe it's not. I really want your opinion. Okay, so, obviously, I played a little bit further ahead. It's March 6, 1948, and I basically told all my generals to go ahead and carry on with your missions, and I do have my tanks up here as well. Let's see, over here, 12 tank divisions. Uh, supplies, not great, but it's not bad. Let's see, I have quite a few SS division, divisions now, with some of them being very, very strong. Uh, Hasso von Manteuffel has done a very good job, especially under Himmler, who's... A level 2 field marshal. Interesting. Cool. Let's keep going. But I got a couple questions or a couple things for you. Alright, so first. Um, should this be the last episode? I did ask whether this episode should be the last or not. If I were to continue playing this specific campaign, we would of course go to war with the Japanese. Uh, I'm really not interested in taking out Australia, but, you know, whatever. Uh, in the peace conference f for the... Uh, or against the Allies, I will give Japan a pretty sizable chunk of Africa. I'm not going to give them any part of the Middle East. Uh, they'll get India, of course, and all of China, because they already own it. And, of course, they will still have their countries in South America and El Salvador. For the United States, I can't really give them that since the Confederated States already are here. I might give them a chunk of territory of Canada. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Maybe not. Probably not. But if you want, me to see, if you want to see a war between me and the Japanese faction... Let me know in the comments. If there's not enough support for that, then I will go ahead and start a new campaign using a mod. Now, it's, the mod's probably going to be Kaiserreich, because I don't really want to play the New World the new world Order Old World Blues mod, just because it's new, it's hot, it's fresh, but you can only play for the first five years, which I don't think is terrible, but it's not great. I mean, if you take a look right now, we are, we've been playing, or at least I've been playing for 12 in-game years. Five years really isn't enough. I mean, sure, five years with the start of this campaign, I took out pretty much most of continental Europe. Uh, but I didn't take out the Soviets. I managed to take out the UK, but five years isn't a lot of time. So I'm really thinking, if I start, when I start a new campaign, I will probably play a mod, probably Kaiserreich. Just, that would just be easiest. So, yeah, that's uh, those are my thoughts. So, if you want me to continue playing this campaign against the Japanese, please let me know in the comments below. And for the mod, if I play Kaiserreich, I've had suggestions of playing the West, or East Indies Federation, the West Indies Federation, which is okay, as well as Transamur, which is over here in Kaiserreich, which is very, very difficult. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm actually that good or good enough to actually try that. I mean, maybe I could, but, you know, those countries are not super easy. I mean, I was thinking something like, maybe like Romania or something in Kaiserreich, or, hell, what I could do in Kaiserreich, you could start off as Lithuania, and but go with the Germanization route, and then unify with the United Baltic Duchy, perhaps, and then unify with the German Reich. That'd be kind of a three country Kaiser Kaiserreich uh, video, or campaign, that'd be really cool. And, uh, yeah, I think that'd be really cool. But anyways, let's keep this war going on. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about this before I go into the next topic. So the United States here. Apparently, someone did tell me that Harry Truman was elected, even though most of the people are fascist. Or at least the uh, party ideology is fascist. Uh, they're, they have very limited manpower. Very, very limited because they don't have enough political power to actually raise their conscription levels. So that's why I decided to send my generals northwards to just keep pounding the hell out of the Americans. Uh, and, of course, the Mexicans... They're almost out of manpower as well. So, that's pretty good. Mm, I mean, if we do attack Japan, I mean, we'll, we, we will have the Confederated States of America to help us out. So, that's really no problem. Casualties. Honestly, in, in the war against the Allies, me as Germany, I've only lost 1.21 million soldiers compared to the Allies' 22.7. I think this KD, it's pretty good. Pretty good KD, at least for me. I mean, sure. The Italians suffered a little less than 2 million. The Spanish lost... Oh, about 1.14. The, I guess they'll just call it the Asian and kind of South American, Central American Alliance. 
a little less than four, but America has, oh, Mexico has lost a little over three million, Canada's lost a little bit less than half a million, and then the United States itself has lost about five million, a little more than five. And at this point, oh, did they actually take a port? Oh, they did, oh. And at this part, I just kind of given up on my Navy. I mean, yeah, if we go to war with Japan, Japan has the most ships out of any country. They have almost 750. We have nowhere near that amount, but I got a lot of bombers. A crap ton of naval bombers just ready and itching to fight, so. And really, the goal is to get air superiority. That's how you win naval battles. Air superiority. By the way, how is my Navy doing? I'm not even really checking it out anymore. Let's see, we have our Kriegsmarine, or the first Faust. You have four carriers, four battleships, three heavy cruisers, 11 light cruisers, and 38 destroyers. They're currently patrolling an area. Uh, you know what could be fun? Very dangerous. Actually, you know what? There's no point to even have my, you know, regular fleet here, you know, doing very much. I mean, they're just... I haven't found any enemy ships to fire on. I mean, the Americans have over 100 ships, but I'm not sure where they're at. As we are pummeling the American forces. This is why you build the wall. Because you never know when the Germans might come through Mexico and just destroy all the armies. And that's mostly because... Oh, there goes Mexico. That's mostly because the Americans and the Mexicans decided to ram themselves into me so hard that they lost most of their equipment and supplies. Yes, that's a very weird thing to say, but it's very true. Go ahead, finish this little area up. The little, little encirclement for American divisions will die here. Three, two, one, and someday they will they will perish. There you go. Cool. Pause it. Let's go ahead and reorganize the entire front line here. And then just kind of push into Canada and hopefully capitulate the Allies. Just go ahead and just just go. I'm not doing anything with my Marines. Hmm, I could invade Florida, but that's very risky. Very risky. Uh, come from here, invade here. That could cut them off. Invade here to here. Invade from this area as well. Take the port. Come down here. And go invade uh, from here. To here and then here. yeah that'd be good enough cool go ahead when you can not really too concerned about it Americans are out of manpower mostly and the Japanese will have a serious peace conference idea I'm sure uh, go ahead and put these Americans out of their misery poor Americans poor poor Americanos but they they wanted this don't blame me for what they want people are crazy cool very nice uh, six million casualties, wow. And for what? To help out Central and South America? Truman, you're gonna lose America. I'm sorry, wow. Actually, they could be getting a little bit more manpower. It's kind of surprising. But regardless, they're not gonna be able to keep this up because they pretty much lost all Texas. Yeah, pretty much all Texas is gone. Under my control, under my authority. And that's great. Yeah, I really don't care about dockyards very much anymore. I mean, we got you know, six, oh, six extra, but meh. Hmm, if I have to go to war with the Japanese, I'm going to try to put a carrier in every single one of my task forces, pretty much. Let's make another submarine. I think that sounds like a fun idea. A little bit of a fun idea, submarines. Maybe we could, uh, add in some upgrades for some of my ships. Also, one thing here, you really, really need to monitor, um, your ship's health. Just because in this area, they still, the Americans still have a lot of planes. You want to make sure that most of your capital ships aren't getting bombed to hell, so. I don't mind individually restoring some of these guys' health, just telling them to go home, have a good time, take a smoke break, you know. Just typical American things. Oh yeah, repair your your motor road her thing. Yeah, your spinning device. I can't think of the term for it, oh my gosh. The motor. No, it's not the motor, but it's a, the spinning device. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, go ahead and repair. Uh, what is this? Ship upgrades, battle cruiser, battleship hull. Ah, uh, do that. Screw it. Why not? And then go and repair. So, yeah, spinning device. Yeah, whatever. Jesus. Uh, good, 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 good. Uh, invading won't be a problem as long as, as long as we can get to a port. We'll be fine. Cool. Better, ma better Marines, please. And please don't die. Do I have any strategic bombers that might help us? Oh, and oh. Oh, I do have some. Oh, I do have some strategic bombers. I already placed them down. Great. I see some Americans. Oh, I can't bomb, nuke them. God dang it. Uh, yeah, the American South is becoming very Germanic. 
Good. Good. Rocket engines. Very awesome. Get some jet engines next. And we've helped liberate this area. Very cool. Go ahead and just take that port if you can. Awesome. As long as you get the port, that's all I really care about. And then... You two. Take this. Come over here. You know what? Everyone just come over here. Just hold on to Florida as best you can. As probably a lot of our allies are probably going to begin invading a whole lot more. Uh, Turkey obviously has invaded Quebec. Greece has actually held on very well in Labrador, which is very surprising. But I guess a little bit of few Italians here. So that's pretty cool. Oh, the Italian Navy's up there. All they have is 19 ships. Wow. But I have helped support them by building up a lot of naval bases, max out the infrastructure as best I can, give them a level 10 fort so they can defend very well. There's a comet that has been sighted. <sighs> Gain base stability negative 1%. A base falls over. Gain base stability 1%. I didn't like that base anyways. Awesome. I love EU4 jokes. Hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. God, I suck so hard at EU4. It's not even funny. Go ahead and try to get down to Miami. We'll make it new. Oh, new Miami, but is there an American destroyer hull here? Interesting. Oh, are we are attacking over here. It's some of the British ships. Uh, no one commented on this earlier, but I kind of want to annex Oslin, Ukraine, and Nederland. Hmm. I don't know if I should or not. If I annex them, they should be cores, but they won't be, obviously. And. If I annex them, I'm going to lose the divisions they give me. Eh, let's keep it for now. I'm not really too interested in annexing too much. Ooh. There goes that, that, uh, thing. God dang it. I, someone even let, wrote in the comments, yeah, I got cock-blocked by a bunch of South American nations, by the Japanese. God dang it. I got cock-blocked again in Florida. Japan, this is why you're not going to get any of the territory. God dang it, Japan. Why are you taking Mobile, Alabama, Japan? You don't belong there. What the heck? Come on, man. Come on. Oh. Oh, American carrier by itself. Never mind. The carrier does not exist anymore. Oh my gosh, look at all our allies. The Americans, the Confederated States of America is coming back. Great. God dang it, you fucking Japanese. This is why we probably have to go to war with them. Oh, don't lose the port. Don't lose with the port. Oh, it's good, it's good, it's good. Just stay there. Just defend. The Marines are actually very good at defending. At least these Marines are. Maybe not all the Marines in the world, but my Marines are. Just keep going. We're doing a great job. Uh, checking out the Navy stuff. Cool. Uh, for the tanks? I don't know where to really position you. Go through Arkansas and Missouri and that type of area. Just keep going. And SS divisions. We got a lot of political power, so... All we can do is Scotland. They're plotting, and they're loyal. If I do this... We get a mechanized division... 35% chance that generals protest, 35% 35% chance that we get general resigns, 30% chance of rumors of a Wehrmacht plot. I don't want a Wehrmacht plot. These are basically the same thing. Except this one's mechanized and this one's give you basically a regular division. I'm just going to do that so they that they're just angry and they're not plotting against me. I don't want Himmler to backstab me, so that would not be very cool. So yeah, this is pretty much the defeat of the Americans in this the Confederated States. God, that's so weird to see. The Confederated States of America by the Silver Legion. Even though the people in the United States are fascist. At least the party popularity is. Jesus Christ, this is weird. This is... Uh, actually, wow. You got a lot of manpower. I know you're unscraping the barrel. But compared to these guys, so much more manpower. You actually have a division. You have still have 120 ships and you got quite a few factories. Because we're going to get you more and more and more and more. Casualties. Uh, we're, we are taking more casualties. Whatever. That's the price you pay when you attack America. You can be a little more careful. You guys. Oh, you're already kind of careful. And then you guys. Yeah. Oh, nice. We linked up with the Marines. All right. So let's go ahead and stop these attacks. And kind of consolidate our forces. Go ahead and consolidate them. Because the Americans have brought on quite a few guys. Uh, SS divisions. I'm going to separate my SS divisions. You're going to go west while the tanks go east. So we can at least specialize in some different areas here. Reclaim the American South for our brethren. By brethren, I mean not brothers, but Confederated States of America. 
Cool. Three more British convoys. I don't know how this place has not been taken over yet. Ponta Delgata. How are you... The 46 divisions? How are you not starving over here? Oh, it's your capital. That shouldn't happen if you have 46 divisions, though. Holy smokerinos. Uh, maintenance companies. Uh, get some more recon companies. That'd be good. Cool. Uh, I'm kind of ex hoping the trucks maybe expand out a little bit more, but whatever. And Marines. Um, you know what? Go right ahead, Marines. I mean, if they're not doing anything, so be it. Go ahead and re just organize a line so that everything is pretty much okay. And I can't build any infrastructure here because that's our allies' infrastructure. That they don't want to build up. And they might want to repair a little bit, but you know what? Whatever. Go ahead if you can. I did tell you to go if you can, so. Because there's a lot of open territory here in California that, uh needs to get cleaned up because there's too much poop on the streets. Wait, what? Talking about modern politics. Okay. Yeah, whatever, San Francisco. Cool. Don't you love it when they, people literally poop in the streets? I love it, too. Yay, an early battleship. Yeah, if we go to war, I'm going to take out these South American countries. These guys are definitely going to get reduced in size from right now. And they have a little piece of this, which doesn't make any sense. Anyways, um, planes. You, you're doing a great job. But come here. Any more planes? Just a lot, a lot, a lot of planes. Uh, we do have full fuel, which is good. Heavy Fighter 3, so be it. Go ahead and put another one of these guys here. That should probably help out, help out a little bit. Just a tiny bit, not very much, but a tiny bit. Add 200 more. Come here. Very cool. Just keep reforming that line. The Americans look like they have got back a little bit more strength than I planned. Eh, that's not bad amount of manpower, but they have lost quite a few factories, even though they still have a bunch. Good, good, good. And it looks like the Italians have landed in North Carolina. Nothing says North Carolina like a bunch of Italians. Cool, and we are circling, making circles in California. Typical. Alright, tanks. Where are you guys? Are you guys ready to good go? Where are y'all? I mean, I don't want you to attack and just lose everything you've been working for, but if you can go, go right ahead. If the Marines can go, yeah, take Charleston. Great. We're about to link up with the Italians in South Carolina. Super cool. Super good. I'm really surprised our allies have not done very much in Canada, though. Canada is very, very weak, actually. They have one division and a little bit of manpower. What is that? De Gauss ship hulls? Hmm. Stuff is... Oh, they have ma mutinies. Mutinies? Mutinies. Hmm. Alright, in Canada. The United States does not. Interesting. Oh, diesel-powered emergency pumps. Nice. Chance to receive critical hits. Effective sustained critical hits. Good. Uh, let's do some more torpedo attacks. That's good. Washington cannot be nuked. Sure, we'll take that. Just mostly because we don't have air superiority. I will land 100... Strategic bombers, though, uh, fairly close to the front lines. Let's add some more. Uh, what was I thinking? Tactical bombers? Ah, screw it. Give them to the Marines. Put them there, and maybe put some more heavy fighters for our Marines as well. Hmm. Eight hundred. That should be good, right? Eight hundred. You know. 800 planes for these guys. Strategic bombers, you just hang out. Go ahead, hang out. You guys definitely need, need those guys there. And there we go, and there we go, and there we go. Very cool. Probably take this off, actually. East Coast, they still have a lot of planes over here. Um, da -da -dum 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 -dum. Uh, 200 more heavy fighters to some of these guys. Ooh. Wait, what are you... Oh, thought I told you to go to the Marines, but okay. You know what? We'll put everyone on here. Please come to the Marines. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Ooh, nice. Another battleship sunk. That definitely helps out. Someday, if we can nuke Washington, I will. All right. We're moving in slowly. Tell you guys, Himmler. Yeah, do what you want with the West Coast. Now, this won't end up like, of course... Man in the High Castle, just because we already have the Confederate States here, and they're probably going to get all the American territory. 
because I'm not going to strip my allies of their own territory because that would be very weird if I gave some to the Japanese because the Japanese shouldn't take any American territory. They really shouldn't. Cool, we still got a ton of political power. Let's keep doing some of this. Cool. Execute case. Anton, what am I building? I'm building a lot of stuff. Oh, I'm building a lot of factories. And refineries. Okay. Uh, Chaplin sees in California. Joyous news for Adolf Hitler as his favorite movie star, the one and only Charlie Chaplin, has been found in California. While escaping to rural areas, he was stopped by a German patrol who immediately recognized him for his iconic mustache. After having him reprise the final monologue of his masterful The Great Dictator, the esteemed actor was convinced to come along to entertain the German troops stationed in the region. Now he's going to be sent to Berlin, where Adolf Hitler will finally get to meet his hero. While political differences risks putting a damper on the meeting, Adolf Hitler is waiting the moment as giddy as a child. He'll be getting a welcome worthy of an American hero. Cool. Also, that did remind me of my other thing I was going to bring up. So, uh, someone did comment saying that I should not really cut out any sort of content in any sort of these videos. Like, you know how I went from me in like 1944 and then one episode and immediately jumped in 1946 to invade South America in the following video. People might not want me to cut out bits and parts that might otherwise be unentertaining or not very entertaining or interesting. Would you want to see cuts like that or would you like to see everything everything that I do in this pretty much everything that I do in this game that uh, I can just you know just show you instead of you know making cuts here or there just to kind of speed things up you know I wanted to push that to everyone because I did have someone's comment saying that he prefers seeing everything so just trying to gauge you your guys's interest in the video cool we are making good time we're about a little bit 21 minutes into this video? I, don't, I can't tell. My, I stopped, I started my stopwatch a little bit too late. But that's okay. The United States is about two-fifths of the way towards capitulation. We're getting closer and closer to... Alright, so about ten nuclear bombs is good for Washington, right? Ah, so good. Ten nuclear bombs, we've reduced it very well. The only level two radar? Wow. That's kind of pathetic. The atomic bombing of Washington, D.C. A nuclear bomb was detonated today over the capital of the United States in an attack clearly directed at the political center and historical legacy of the U.S. The White House, the Capitol, and a number of monuments and memorials were wiped off the face of the earth. Even the burning of Washington over a century ago pales in comparison to the destruction visited upon the city by this devastating weapon. Although Harry S. Truman, the president, has been brought to safety, the nation has been shaken to its core, no doubt. The U.S. hoped to be the first and only country to wield such a weapon, though. Those hopes have now been shattered in the worst possible way and I only dropped 10 nukes it's only 10 nukes so it's not that bad on a single province oh wow we almost have the entire American West West Coast at least uh, cool Man, we got so many people here if I take out the Japanese or try to take them out we're gonna have so many guys helping us out especially if we have a fully formed Confederated States of America oh yeah Oh, we took Norfolk, because we got even more naval bases for our ally. America. Wow, you got nuked ten times in a single province, and you're still not ready to give up. Even close to giving up. Wow. Combined operations. We're finally done with our naval doctrine. We are done with our air doctrine. Air stuff. Uh, I really don't use any of this. I really don't see the point of this, since I already have pretty good heavy fighters, so I'm going to ignore this. Tactical bombers aren't bad, but I've already upgraded my tactical bombers to level three. So I really don't see a good point of doing that. Come on, yeah. Oh, Italy, you... You need a... I can't... Okay, do you have a port there? No, you don't. God dang it, Italy. Ah, oh, Italy, Italy, Italy. What are we going to do with you? Good job, uh... Von... Hasso von Manteuffel. You're doing a very great, great job. Come down to Charlotte. God, I, I like Charlotte. I was born in North Carolina, so... Carolina's great place. Great, great place. Go ahead. Casualties. If we had suffered less than two million... Two or less million casualties against the Allies for the entire war. That's great, in my opinion. That's very, very great. Alright, kick it up a notch. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. But you know what? Let's kick it back down a notch. And maybe take out a couple American divisions here and there. That might give us a little bit of difficulty. Like here. Mm, maybe I can't do that. I need more air superiority. As long as we... Take out all the West Coast. That'll be good. 
as we slowly encroach into the mid-Atlantic states. Yeah, that's what you call them. Mid-Atlantic states. Very cool, very cool. You guys are doing a great job. You know what? Actually, I'm going to reform our front line here. Just so that things can be a little bit more dispersed. Oh, we have no... Is that Nebraska we got? Cool. Uh, that's Nebraska. This is Kansas. Ah, yes, Kansas. It's almost in the center of the United States. Oh, I didn't know that. No one remembers Kansas. What the heck, Japan? This is why we can't have nice things. Screw it. You guys are going to invade, too. Ugh, come on. Come on, Japan. What are you doing to me? Uh, actually. We're going to invade from Florida to New York City. And then we'll eh, do the same place so these guys get enough supplies. We will take on here as well to help get into New York City. And then a couple more Marines to come from here to Newark. Not New York, but Newark. Go figure. Cool. America. So got a lot of manpower. I'm, I'm pretty much just waiting at this point for... Oh God, our supplies are so bad right now. I need to really concentrate my tanks. Where are my tanks? I need to concentrate you guys a little bit better. I wish I didn't... I kind of wish I didn't have so many allies so that I could actually not suffer so many supplies.
Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here again. Uh, I apologize for my mic cutting out. This mic is very derpy. Very not reliable. It's unreliable. But anyways, I'm back. Hopefully you can hear me. And uh, yeah, this is the world. So let's talk about how I divided this world up. So obviously, we still have Canada here. And the maple leaf flag with some swords behind it. And our family-friendly Adrian Arcand. Very cool, Adrian. Now, of course, we have the Confederated States of America, led by William Pelly, and they've got a lot of manpower and quite a few ships. That'll be good for a future war. Uh, next up is the Mexican military junta. Nothing really different. However, they are becoming more communist, so... Yeah, maybe to help suppress that, we'll do this. Uh, next up, here's a little decision I decided to make. Because in history, we have a thing called the Golden Circle or something, like Knights of the Golden Circle, which was a philosophy or an idea founded... Uh, before the Ameri first American Civil War, in which the Southerners believed that they could maybe someday unify with Cuba, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, because of all the slaves that they had down there. So I took that idea and actually decided with Colombia, the remnants of what Colombia that I have, is that I'd give Colombia all the rest of Central America that I could take, as well as Cuba, Haiti, and the Dominican Republic. Give that all and make it into one major nation, kind of as a Rex Commissariat. Everything, every puppet you see is basically a Rex Commissariat without the name or the term Rex Commissariat. Uh, the rest of Colombia is under Venezuela, though, or and Peru did take Ecuador. Uh, and that same idea that I was talking about, actually. Uh, let's strip... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's not strip it from Vichy France. Uh, the same idea was with Brazil. So you see Brazil looks like a supercontinent superpower on this continent now and it is it completely is however uh let's see yeah they're still good i made sure that this is basically my super reichs commissariat in the um south american continent that's basically a reichs commissariat so maybe i'll just take slowly more and more land from them because well they need to be fully germanized before i do anything else the same idea in europe i've taken greenland iceland I have split up the UK as best I can. We've called we have something called Caledonia in Scotland. We have the British Empire, or basically England, under Oswald Mosley, and we have Wales, known as Cambria, and of course we have Resurrectionist Ireland in under Owen O'Dolphy. Cool. And since that war ended, Vichy France got a lot of this territory back, but let's just say they're not going to last very long. As I will annex them uh, fairly soon. That's definitely someone I want to annex. And it's very, very close. So, uh, if you want me to annex nations, please let me know. Because, honestly, I can already annex, like I said before, the Rex Commissariat's over here, over here. And I did release Sweden. Uh, basically, it's Rex Commissariat Sweden. But, obviously, it doesn't have the name. Same thing with Finland. We'll do the exact same thing with them. Um, what else? I did take Switzerland for myself. National Spain got Portugal. Vichy France owns Western Africa for the most part. Uh, yeah. Spain does not have claims on Morocco. Italy got a huge chunk of the Middle East as well as this area. Actually, you know what? Leave a comment below too. Should, should I keep the new Persian Empire or give it to Italy? Or just keep it for myself? Because this territory, it's okay. It might actually serve better under me. Because I still have all of this annexed Russian territory. Um, yeah, Japan did get a little portion of Africa. I was going to give them Namibia as well, or Southwest Africa. But I remembered that this was originally a German colony. And this is also a Reichs Commissariat of Belgium. So I decided to keep this. This should be a core state, but I think that was actually a really good idea for me to do. And Japan got Australia, New Zealand, stuff like that. And the Philippines, Dutch East Indies. And that's basically the world as we know it at the moment. So... Uh, obviously the Japanese factions in Africa, in South America, a little part of Europe and Asia, a lot of part of Asia. So that's where we're going to leave it at the time being. I do apologize for earlier with my microphone messing up. <sighs> I just don't know why it messes up like that sometimes and I do apologize about that. But with that in mind, uh, let me know if you want this, this specific campaign to continue. Wait, who's this? Portugal, what the heck? No. Uh, if you want to see this campaign continue against the Japanese, or if you want me to move on to a mod of a game, where, uh, yeah, we have a very good time playing as somebody who I don't know yet. Eventually, I will move on to a different mod, but just let me know if you want me to play this or something else for tomorrow's video. So, 
Thank you very much for watching, guys. I enjoy your presence. I'll enjoy your, all of your comments. Uh, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we might do something different or might just go to war with the Japanese. Thanks for watching, guys.